Hello everyone and welcome. Yes, the giveaway is still going on. Same details at the end. Today we have some quick news. The original video ended up being really long, so I decided to cut it into two parts, with the longer story coming later today or tomorrow, which will be an update on the Breath of the Wild 2 development, because a lot of rumors are going around and some of them are just completely not true, while others have been confirmed. Skyward Sword has been confirmed to have amiibo. Hopefully, to make everyone happy, the price will be changed, to be similar to Twilight Princess HD when it released, with just the game being $50, while a limited or special edition that comes with an amiibo or something else will be $60. Maybe even another special edition that comes with the Joy-Cons at like $100 or something, saving $20, $30, or $40 depending on how much everything would cost separately. Daniel and I talked about our ideas for Amiibo in the last two videos, so you can go check those out, but for one example, we would love to have a Loftwing Amiibo, similar to the Wolf Link Amiibo, giving us an extra dungeon in Skyward Sword and dropping the Loftwing into Breath of the Wild 2, which is exactly how Wolf Link worked for Twilight Princess and the original Breath of the Wild. No, flying wouldn't ruin exploration at all. You could get the loft wing towards the end, or it could just not fly places that we have not seen. And since it's reusing the entire overworld, we've literally already been everywhere. And ruining exploration, really? Breath of the Wild literally gives you a motorcycle and lets you warp anywhere that you want. Technically, that ruins exploration more than Loftwing. If anything, a Loftwing would add more exploration because now you get to see all of those old areas from a new perspective. Maybe even seeing something that you didn't see from the ground, which in turn would actually make you want to visit it again. The mechanics are already sort of in the game since we fly on Tiba to reach Va Meadow, but this time we would actually be able to control the flying and it would possibly be used specifically to get to the floating castle giving it an actual reason to be in the game, without just reusing Teba. Second, Grezzo is rumored to have made that Miitopia game, as they usually do quick HD ports of their older 3DS games. No, it doesn't mean all of their teams were only working on this very small game, and none of them were working on Zelda. They tend to work on two or three games at once, with one big game being new or a big remake, and the others being smaller projects or ports, such as porting a 3DS game to a console, even if they were working on this and Zelda, with the big rumor being they are moving their 3DS Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask remakes to the Switch. While it may upset fans to refer to it as this, even those would be considered small projects. As their team already has all of the original assets, they were the ones who created the original remakes. They know exactly how to develop for the engine, and they have a lot of experience already bringing 3DS games to the Switch in HD in a very fast time. For everyone interested in the giveaway, we're going to make it easy. We will randomly be picking three winners for the 95,000 subscriber goal, and five more winners leading up to our 100,000 subscriber goal for each additional thousand subscribers. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment something below about what you are most excited about with Breath of the Wild 2 or another upcoming Zelda game and mention this giveaway. If you want to be super nice, give us a follow on Twitter or join our Discord so it, so it is not only easier to send a tweet to let you know if you won, but you can stay up to date and participate in discussions on Zelda theories, rumors, and anything else. We will most likely be giving out eShop cards as it is easier, faster, and safer than us buying a game and just mailing it to you, but we can talk about the specific details once we actually pick the winners. And of course, you are free to recommend something else if you just don't want an eShop card. 